Hi, this is Michelle at AppWorks, and today I'm going to show you how to pass parameters into a script using FileMaker's native JSON functions. We'll start with a simple database of tasks and assignees. As you can see, we currently have a list view for both. And what we'll be creating is a master sorting script that will take in as parameters the context, which will either be tasks or assignees, as well as the field that we'd like to sort on. I've already turned these headers into some buttons. And as you can see, if we click on them now, nothing is happening. If we go into layout mode, we can see that the button is calling our master sorting script, but since no parameters are being passed in, the script doesn't yet know where we're calling the script from or which field we would like to sort on. We'll of course be using FileMaker's native JSON functions to pass in these parameters as a JSON object. First, let's take a look at the sort script that we've built to see what the script expects to get. Here's our master sorting script, and you can see that it expects to receive two variables, the context and the sort field. It'll first check the context to see if it is task or assignee, and then it will proceed on to sort based off of the field specified. Right now, the variable for context and sort field is empty, so let's go ahead and start with our buttons on our layouts and go ahead and pass in both of those variables as JSON parameters. We'll be using a native JSON function that FileMaker released uh, in version 16, and this will be JSON set element. Uh, the first thing it asks for is the JSON object that you'd like to set. If you already have a JSON object and a variable, you can specify that here. Of course, we're starting fresh, so we'll go ahead and use the double quotes. Uh, our next lines are actually going to be our key value pairs, or uh, basically what we'll be parsing into variables in our sorting script to allow us to create multiple key value pairs we'll simply wrap them in brackets and separate them with semicolons so the first value here is actually going to be the key i'd like the key for this json object to match the variable that will be receiving it so i'm going to name it context and of course we're on the task list so the value for this is going to be task and the type is actually the data type. Um, and for this, of course, it's just a string. So we'll use JSON string. And for the next line, um, we're going to do another key value pair, the key being the sort field. And the value for that is going to be task as well, because we are sorting on the task field. Again, we're going to set the data type as JSON string. And since this is our last item in our array, we do not need a semicolon after this. Um, so that should be all we need. I'm going to go ahead and copy this JSON object to use for our other buttons as well, since the only difference, uh, at least on this layout, will be the sort field. So we'll go ahead and set up the rest of our buttons here and we'll change our store sort field to status and on this one of course it'll be category and the last one we'll do is due date Okay, so if we save this and go back into browse mode, we'll click these, 
course, they still do not work because we have to receive the parameters into our script. So we'll go back into script workspace and let's go ahead and set the variable of the context. For this, we'll use another native JSON function, JSON get element. And it expects to receive a JSON object of some sort. So for this one, uh, it's actually going to be captured with the get script parameter function. Um, that will actually have a JSON object within it. And for this, we're also going to specify um, that key value pair. And of course, for this one, we are looking for context. That's all we need to pull out the value of our context variable uh, from our JSON object. And I'll say OK here. We'll say OK. And then we'll do the same thing for the sort field, JSON get element. Again, our JSON is coming through in the script parameter. And our key for that key value pair was sort underscore field. And we'll say OK. We'll save this script. And we'll come back over here. And let's see if it works. Looks like this might actually be working. We're able to sort on task, status, category, and due date. We can go ahead and apply the same JSON object parameter here in our assignees list. We'll of course have to change the context to assignee and we will turn our sort field into our first name. I'm going to copy this. That way we can also use the same block of code over here in our last name. Change this to last. And I'm just going to verify that in the script we are looking for the sort field to be named first and last. So if we go ahead and save this again, and we should be able to sort now based off of first name and last name. And that's it. You've now successfully passed in parameters and parsed them using FileMaker's native JSON functionality. Thanks for watching.